showing you my go-to art supplies whenever I go plain air or if I travel. So I hope this helps with you guys if you also um, plan to bring some of your materials and yeah, let's get into the video. First on our list is this sketchbook that I made. So this is a handmade one. I created this, I think last year. This is just made of Fabriano papers and I just customize it. And if you guys wanna check how I did it, I also made a video a year ago. I'll just be putting down the link of it. And I also made a video on how I did this painting on the cover. So yeah, the previous one I've been bringing with me is a mole skin, which is smaller than this. This is just the right size for me and it fits well here in my cute little bag. So when I do play in air, what I bring with me most of the time are watercolors. So this is my favorite travel set. This is from Senyale. This watercolor set has been with me for three years now. And as you can see in its thin case, it has a lot of sketches. But this is my go-to watercolor set and I really love the pigments of this. This set basically has 12 half pans in it. I just added some of the colors that I needed. So as you can see, there are extra colors in here. And what's good about this is that you can still insert more if you need other colors that are not included in this palette. This size is really good for traveling and it has this mixing plates as well. And this is really portable and convenient to bring. It also has this handle at the back which you can just use this way. So if you want to paint, you can just handle it like this. And it will not fall off. So I bought this palette from Art Nebula. And as you can see, all of them have this sandy thing because I brought this with me when we went to Humalig Island last last year and I did play in air there as well. So when these paints were wet and then the wind came, the sand particles actually flown in here. So that's the remembrance of my plain air painting. And it doesn't bother me because it doesn't affect anything on my paintings. They're just there. If you're gonna ask me why I'm not removing them it's actually very hard i did try a lot of things to remove it but as you can see they are really stuck in there i just leave it there like that next on our list armor brushes i always bring with me these three brushes and this first one is an aqua brush or what we call a water brush pen so we have here a water holder and this is where we're gonna put the water and it has this brush. And what's good about this is that it's so stiff. It's really pointy whenever it gets wet. So it's good for outlinings and small details. By the way, if you want to learn more about water brush pens, I also made um, a separate video for that. And you can check the link down below as well. And moving on, I have these two brushes here. They are designed for traveling. They are removable and you can just put it this way. Is this one so this one is actually an Isabe brush 
This is my first ever travel brush. This is a round brush made of Polinsky sable hair. This is quite expensive, but it really does the job. And this has been with me for three years, three to four years, I guess. I bought this together with my Sanyale palette. So here it's my Isabe round brush. This other one here is from Lemon Space. I just bought this from Shopee, but I really find this very stiff and I like how this colors. This is really smooth. I just don't know what is it made of. What I just don't like about this is this handle because this is quite heavy. So when I use this brush, I just remove the handle and use it this way. What good about travel brushes is that you can also put them here. So that's what I usually do. I put my travel brush in here because it really fits perfectly in here. You can just have it placed like this. Very handy and very lightweight. I really do consider that because I really want to have my things portable and of course as much as possible. I want it to be smaller and lighter. So next on our list, since I'm using watercolors, I always bring this with me. This is um, a spray bottle. So this was actually an alcohol bottle and I just put some water in it. And I always bring this with me because I use this for reactivating my watercolor pigments. So I also bring with me like a piece of cloth. This is from Shopee. Um, this is actually just 32 pesos. So this is where I wipe my brushes. This is very smooth and I like the color of this because it's pink. For sketching, I like to use my mechanical pencil. This is 0.5 and I just bought this from Shopee. What I like about this, you can just press it here so the lid will come out. Unlike the usual mechanical pencils that you have to press it at the top. So if I draw, I can just simply press it here and the lid will come out. I really love this one. I will try to check if I can still find the link of this where I bought it from Shopee. And of course, in case of emergency, you also need to have the refills. So it's a 0.5 millimeter refill. So I also bought this from Shopee. So another one is this multicolored ball pen. I just bought this recently. I got this idea and technique from Hammerb Art. If you guys wanna check, she also does cool videos and great tutorials, most especially for figure drawing and portrait painting. I mostly use this for sketching portraits and figure studies. For the eraser, I always bring this with me. This is also lightweight and it's a mechanical eraser. That's how it works. And for bigger spaces, I use this Faber-Castell dust-free eraser which I bought from National Bookstore. So aside from this item, I also bring this with me. This is um, a Dong A Fine Tech 0.2 pen. I also have this Uniball Signo for highlights. And I also have here with me my Zig brushable brush pen. So it has two tips. This one is a darker shade and the other one is also a brush tip but it's on a lighter shade which is good for shadowing. And I also bring with me a ruler just in case I need it. And the washi tape just in case I need it. And I also have this binder clip with me. I bought this from Shopee and this helps me clip the pages that I don't use. So I also need this with me. So yeah, for this bag, um, this is actually from Shopee as well. The first thing I noticed about this is the color. I love the color of this. It's just a subtle pink. And if you turn it this way, you can see like a rainbow thing. It's so cool. It has this pen holders and it has this huge space where I can fit in my watercolor and also my sketchbook. So now I will be showing you how I pack them all in here. And before we do that, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you like what you're watching right now, please give this a thumbs up. And feel free to comment your thoughts about this or if you also have any suggestions on how I can make this more convenient to bring while traveling. By 
the way guys, I want to take this opportunity to invite you in our exhibit at SM Muntinlupa. It runs today until March 28th of this year and it's an exhibit to celebrate Women's Month. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. If you want to stay connected with me outside of YouTube, you can find me on Instagram. That's at me something and I also have a Facebook page. That's at me something. I'm ending this video now guys and I'll see you on the next one and always be happy and safe. May we all have a good day. Bye!